to all my wonderful uh, YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for joining today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I would like to talk to you why do I make bottle lamps? And basically, I enjoy uh, putting them together and figuring out uh, different ways to use the bottles for different applications. Now, I basically use uh, the bottles, make the lamp out of everything else, and I will gladly show you a couple of them, like this one here. I made this one uh, not too long ago, and all it is is a bottle with stones, electric cord, a socket, and a light. Now, I did not uh, film it because it would took me a little bit longer to prep everything. And the one thing you gotta make sure, if you're gonna drill a shoe glass, I use water to keep the bottle cool from actual cracking on you. I actually done that before. But alright, let's go ahead and show you how this one actually works. Basically, it's very simple. Okay. But I really like uh, doing these things, they're kind of cool. Well, this lamp was very easy to put together and build. Uh, it's a couple of things I'm not done with the lamp itself. I don't have the bulbs for it. It's a Carver Lava style uh, bulb. And I don't have a shade. And also I don't have a felt on the bottom of the bottle here to keep it from sliding around on the desk. Now, also, if you're going to be making one of these, do yourself a favor. Get a rubber garment to uh, put on your bottle itself to insulate and protect your uh, cables themselves. And basically, this is not your traditional uh, lamp cord wire. The actual is a extension cord while I took a pulp and salvaged. Basically, got your hot, got your neutral, and let's go ahead and just plug it in and test it. Alright, right now it's off, and of course, I do have a very nice heavy duty uh, 15 amp switch hill uh, on and off. Basically, it turns on, it turns off, and it's a very nice lamp. And basically, all these parts are basically uh, salvaged parts. Basically, uh, the sockets salvaged, wires, uh, switches, the pluggers. But normally, when I make these, I normally use all brand new parts. But I enjoy uh, making these. I got to say a disclaimer here in my blog. If you don't feel comfortable working on a Electrical uh, project, do yourself a favor, uh, don't do it if you don't like making uh, bottle lamps. If you do, be very careful and be safe when you are building these types of projects. And by the way, this is a known uh, bottle lamp I'm making. This is basically a out of a wine bottle. This one is out of a Rixie bottle. Now... Uh, if you're going to size the type of shade uh, for these, make sure you put very, very uh, heavy stones in this and uh, weigh it down as well uh, for it doesn't be top heavy or anything. Basically, this one is a unfinished uh, lamp hill. I'm kind of missing a, a socket right now. I can't plug it in to demonstrate you. Now, this one here is a lamp cord uh wire itself versus the one on that. Now this one needs a felt, uh, this one needs a socket, a shade, and a light bulb basically. And it's basically the same thing what I have done uh, on the back. Put a garment back here to keep the wire from getting cut. And basically this will be a finished lamp as well. Now let's go ahead and test this one. You can see I got a different LED light in there this time. And that one works uh, pretty good. Alrighty then. Well, there you go, guys and girls. To all my fans. Well, 
Thank you for watching today's vlog. If you're curious what these are, they're nothing but bottle lamps. You can make them out of all sorts of different size bottles. You can make them a small bottle, you can make them a big bottle, you can basically put whatever you want inside the bottles like I have here. I have uh, little stones in both of these bottles and the one thing is very hard to try to preserve the stickles without getting the bottle too wet. And the one thing is do be careful when you're drawing glass because you make the glass too hot and it would actually break. We have a sticker on this side and of course we have a sticker on the back side. And I think it makes it look kind of cool to have the stickers on the bottle to say oh, this is a wine or this is a liquor bottle basically. And again the same thing, got a sticker here, a sticker there. And also a sticker on the back. Now what do I mean? Uh, when the bottle gets hot. Uh, when you're trying to drill through the glass because these uh, can break very easily is you can crack and that's not always a good thing. Alright, if you're also brand new to this channel please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys and girls. Well, please see you in the next vlog. Be safe when you're making your own. Bottle wings.